Welcome to Intermediate German Grammar, presented by the German Studies Program at Elon University. This presentation explains the difference between the second person formal pronoun Z and the third person pronoun Z. A common mistake among intermediate German students is to confuse the third person pronoun Z and the second person pronoun Z. It's an easy mistake to make. Both words are pronounced the same, they're both personal pronouns, and they're spelled nearly the same. The only difference in spelling is a capital S for one and a lowercase s for the other. So the confusion between the two is understandable. In order to use these two words correctly, first you need to understand the difference between the first, second, and third person forms of address. The first person is used to talk about yourself or yourself and others. The second person is used to talk to someone. You can talk to one person or to more than one person. The third person is used to talk about others. Uppercase Z is a second person pronoun, like the English you. Lowercase Z is a third person pronoun, like the English she or the English they. Let's look more closely at uppercase Z. It is a second person pronoun used when you talk to someone. You do not use uppercase Z to talk about someone. Uppercase Z is a formal form of address, meaning that you use it when you are talking to one or more people to whom you need to show respect. If you're talking to one person, for example, the CEO of your company, you would use Z with a capital S. Likewise, if you're talking to two or more people to whom you need to show respect, let's say the CEO and her vice president, you likewise use Z with a capital S. As an aside, contrast uppercase Z with du and ia. All of these are second person pronouns, like the English you. The difference between Z, du, and ia has to do with formality. You use Z to talk to one or more people to whom you need to show respect. You use du and ia to talk to people who are closer to you. Also, young people commonly use du and ia with one another even if they don't know one another. So, now we've established that uppercase Z is a second person pronoun, which means that it is used to talk to someone, never about someone. The next step is to understand that lowercase Z is a third person pronoun, used to talk about someone. You never use lowercase Z to talk to someone. Let's go back to the example of your CEO. To talk to her, you would use the word you in English. That's a second person pronoun, which is used to talk to people. In German, you would use the second person pronoun Z with a capital S. To talk about her, you would use the word she in English, which is a third person pronoun. Those are used to talk about people. In German, you would use the third person pronoun Z with a lowercase s. To wrap up, the lowercase Z is a third person pronoun. Third person pronouns are used to talk about people. Lowercase Z can be used in the third person singular, corresponding to English she, where it's used to talk about one female or to talk about a feminine noun. Lowercase z is also used in the third person plural, corresponding to English they, where it's used to talk about multiple people or plural nouns. That concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us on the web or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.